how to set up Olama LLM AI chatbot with open web UI and open source AI user interface on an Ubuntu VPS. In this video guide, we'll be using DigitalOcean as a server host provider to install Olama and open web UI. DigitalOcean has a one-click droplet installation marketplace where we can easily install Olama and open web UI. It basically makes the installation very simple and it's almost plug and play. Once we have created our droplet with Olama and open web UI, I'll then show you how to add users to your self-hosted open web UI instance. This will allow you to have your friends and family use your self-hosted open web UI instance. I'll also be showing you how to add community models from Open Web UI's website. And finally, I'll show you how to add Olama models to your Open Web UI self-hosted instance. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to close these two tabs as we're going to be going to these sites during the video demo. Let's begin by setting up our VPS. Navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to DigitalOcean. It will give you $200 in free DigitalOcean cloud credits to try out their servers free for 60 days. I'll put my referral link in the video description below. Once you're here, you'll need to create a DigitalOcean account. You can either sign up by email, GitHub, or your Google account. Now, I already have a DigitalOcean account, so I'm simply going to click on sign in. Once you have also signed in, you'll be taken to your DigitalOcean project dashboard. Once here, look for the green create button and click on it. Then click on droplets, which is what DigitalOcean calls as VPSs or cloud servers. You'll need to choose a region for your droplet. For this video demonstration, I'm going to be going with Singapore. The closer you are to your selected region, the better. Once you've selected a region, scroll down until you see where it says choose an image. By default, OS will be selected. We need marketplace, so left click on marketplace. Underneath, you should see recommended for you and you should see Olama with Open Web UI. If you don't see Olama with Open Web UI, click on the search box here and type Olama with Open Web UI. You should then see it, so simply click on it to select it. Once you've got it highlighted, scroll down until you see where it says choose size. Droplet type, go with the shared CPU droplet type and choose the basic plan. Shared CPU will be one of the cheapest droplets you can choose from. Scroll down a bit further until you see CPU options. You have a choice between regular, premium Intel and premium AMD. I'm going to be going with premium AMD for this video tutorial and I'm going to be going with the following plan. Four gigabytes of RAM, two AMD CPUs, 80 gigabyte NVMe SSD, and four terabytes of bandwidth. There are cheaper options that you can choose from, such as the $24 a month plan by premium Intel, or the regular plan, which starts from $24 a month also. But I'm going to be going with the premium AMD, the $28 a month plan. Once you've chosen your plan, scroll down until you see where it says choose authentication method. Click on password and then create a root password for your digital ocean droplet. Make sure your password meets all the following password requirements. So I'm just going to enter in my root password now. Once you've done that, scroll all the way to the bottom until you see where it says host name. Give your droplet an identifying name. So I'm going to delete the pre-typed information in here and then I'm going to type Olama dash open web UI. Once you've chosen a name for your droplet, click on create droplet. DigitalOcean will then set up Olama with open web UI and you'll get your own personal self-hosted instance. I'll be back with you once this progress bar finishes and our droplet is up and running. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, our droplet is up and running and you know this is the case by the green active status symbol here. Now in your own time, if you want to read about Olama with open web UI, you can click on get started to get further information. Now that our droplet is up and running, we're going to access our Open Web UI dashboard. To do this, what we'll need to do is copy our DigitalOcean droplets IP address. You can do this by clicking on the word copy to the right of your droplets IP. Once you've copied the IP address to your clipboard, open up another tab in your browser and type the following into the address bar, HTTP colon slash slash, and then right click and paste in the IP address of your DigitalOcean droplet. Hit enter on your keyboard. Make sure you're typing HTTP and not HTTPS. Again, it's HTTP colon slash slash, and your droplet's IP address. Once here, you'll be greeted with the following web page, which says sign into Open Web UI. Now we're not going to sign in, we're in fact going to sign up, as we don't already have an account yet on our self hosted Open Web UI instance. It is very important that you are the first person to sign up to this Open Web UI self hosted instance, as the first person to sign up will have an admin account. To sign up, simply click on sign up, enter your name, email address, and password. So I'm just going to enter my name first, and I'm going to enter my email address. 
and then I'm going to pick a password. Click create account. Great, so once you've created your account, you'll be signed in automatically and taken to a dashboard that looks similar to this. So let's begin by interacting with the model that comes pre-installed with Olama and Open Web UI. So I'm just going to select a model by left clicking here on this drop down arrow. You'll then be able to see all the models installed on Open Web UI. As you can see, we only have one currently and it's called Tiny Llama, latest 1B. I'm going to left click on it to select it. You can set it as default if you want, but I'm not going to do that as we're going to be installing other models throughout this video demonstration. And then you can simply send a message to the Tiny Llama model. So I'm going to ask the model to give me 10 pasta dish recipes. Give me 10 pasta dish recipes. So once you've typed in your question or asked the model to do something for you, just hit enter on your keyboard and then the model will reply to you. And there we go, the Tiny Llama model has listed 10 pasta dish recipes. Okay, before we go any further with the models, I'm just going to show you how to add users to your self-hosted Open Web UI instance. So you'll need to either click on your profile to the bottom left-hand corner or to the top right-hand corner. I'm going to click on the bottom left-hand corner here, then click on admin panel. In your admin panel, click on add user, which is the plus symbol here. Click on the role for your user. I'm going to go with just user. Enter a name for the user. So I'm just going to go with client one. Enter the email address of your user that they're going to be using to log in along with a password. So I'm just going to go with client one at websplaining.com. Then I'm just going to enter a password. All right, once you've done that, click on submit. And there we go, client one has now been added. They can then also navigate to http colon slash slash your droplets IP address. And then they can simply log in. Just to note, you don't actually need to create a new user each time in your admin panel. They can just simply sign up. They'll then be pending and you can simply change their role from pending to user. Okay, so let me just go back to the chat here that I was having with the Tiny Llama model. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to add community models from Open Web UI's website. To do this, navigate to where it says workspace at the top left hand corner and click on it. Once you're here, look for where it says made by open web UI community. Discover a model, discover, download and explore model presets. Now, if you want to create your own model, you can create it by clicking on here. However, my advice is to use a model that has already been made by the open web UI community. So just click on the plus symbol here next to discover a model. A new tab will then open, taking you to openwebui.com. Once you're here, you'll need to create an account and sign in. So simply click on sign in at the top right hand corner here and then click on create one. Choose a username, so I'm going to be websplaining. Enter your chosen email address, so I'm just going to do that now and then pick a password. There's an important note here which you might want to take note of. Open Web UI Community Platform is not required to run Open Web UI. The account you use here does not sync with your self-hosted Open Web UI instance and vice versa. So the account that we created on our own self-hosted Open Web UI instance does not sync with the account that you create on openwebui.com. So once you've chosen a username, email address and a password, click on unlock. You'll then be signed up to openwebui.com and you'll be automatically logged into your account that you just created. Now you can choose a model. So you can either search for the model if you know what you're looking for. You can click on this drop down arrow. You can search for models, prompts, tools, functions. You could choose a featured model here if you want. And if you scroll down further, you can see new models. So before this video, I was just looking at new models that are available that I can use for this video demonstration. I came across a Walter White conversational AI model. So we're going to be adding this model to our self hosted Open Web UI instance. So I'm just going to click on Walter White. Now, if you don't know Walter White, he's a character from the TV series Breaking bad. To get this model, simply click on get, and then you'll need to enter the Open Web UI URL, which in both our cases is going to be HTTP colon slash slash, and then your droplets IP address. So I'm just going to grab my droplets IP address now by going back to the DigitalOcean dashboard, clicking on copy to copy it, going back to openwebui.com and typing in HTTP colon slash slash and right clicking and clicking on paste to paste in my droplets IP address. Once you've done that, just simply click on import to web UI. Your workspace will open and you'll be in the model section automatically. Your open web UI instance will populate the model's name, ID, and all the other configurations. Scroll down to the bottom and click on save and create. Okay, so before we can add this model, we'll need to choose our base model. So I'm just going to click on this text box here and select Tiny Llama. As of course, we still only have one base model installed, which is Tiny Llama. I'll show you how to get more base models after we've added and interacted with the Walter White model. Now scroll all the way down to the bottom again and click on save and create once again. And it should create the model and add it successfully to your self-hosted Open Web UI instance. And there we go, we've got the Tiny Llama model 
and we've got the wall to white model. So let's interact with the wall to white model. Navigate to the top left hand corner and click on new chat. Look to where it says select a model, click on the drop down arrow, and now you have two models to select from. Click on wall to white or the model you have just added. And now have a conversation with the AI model you have just added. So I'm going to ask wall to white, why did you become Heisenberg? Now, if you've watched Breaking Bad, you'll know exactly who Heisenberg is. Heisenberg is Walter White's alter ego. So once you've entered in a message to send the AI model, hit enter on your keyboard and the AI model will get back to you. And there we go, Walter White gets back to us. He replies to us in a similar way that Walter White in the show would reply. So it's the embodiment or personality of Walter White. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add an Olama base model to your Open Web UI self-hosted instance. To do this, click on your profile at the bottom left-hand corner, click on admin panel, click Click on settings in your admin panel and then look for where it says models and click on it. Once here, look for where it says pull a model from olama.com. Enter model tag, for example, mistral colon 7b. So you might be wondering how do we get our model tags? Well, we get this from olama.com. So underneath it says to access the available model names for downloading, click here. And this will open up a new tab, taking us to olama.com slash library. All these links, by the way, will be in the video description below for your convenience. Now you'll need to select a model from the library of models. For this video demonstration, I'm going to be going with Quan 2.5. So I'm just going to click on it to select it. Now you need to make sure that the base model that you're choosing to add to your open web UI instance is a relatively lightweight model. So as you can see, Quan 2.5 has a 0.5B model tag. So we're going to be adding this model tag. To do this, click on this drop down arrow here and then look for the model that you'd like to choose. So I'm going to be going with 0.5B and that's under 400 megabytes. So I'm just going to click on it to select it. Then if you look to the right hand side, you've got the model tag. So all I'm going to do is click on the copy button here and this will copy this entire model tag here. Go back to your admin panel models and then under pull a model from olama.com, click on the text box here and right click and paste in the base model tag. Once you've done that to the right hand side, click on this button to begin pulling the model from olama.com. Once it reaches 100%, it will be successfully downloaded and added to your Open Web UI self-hosted instance. Now let's chat to this model. So again, navigate to the top left-hand corner and click on new chat. Select a base model, click on select a base model and select Quan 2.5 colon 0.5B. So I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on the text box and send a message to this model. So I'm just going to ask this model a scientific question. So why do humans need water? Then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. And there we go, the Quan2 model answers my question in no time. If your question isn't answered by your selected model and you are greeted with the following error message, Olama 500 message equal internal server error. This means that the Olama model you have added and tried to just use is resource intensive. You'll therefore need to add and select a more lightweight model to be able to use it. So as you can see, I have three chats on going with three different models. And if you want to delete each chat that you have with the model, you can just click on the three dots here and click on delete and then click on confirm. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click on cancel. I just wanted to demonstrate how you would delete chats before I ended this video. All right, so that basically concludes this plug and play video on how to set up Olama large language model artificial intelligence chatbot with open web UI and open source AI user interface on an Ubuntu VPS. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so high to let you go?